Hello, my name is Marty Conway. I'm with Fluke Calibration. I've been with Fluke for about six years, uh, and I've been in the industry for about 25, which has include the both calibration and uh, process instrumentation fields. Yes, uh, I'm, what I'd like to do is go over some of the temperature probes that we use in some of our products, as well as some of the, the probes that we offer as standalone products as well. Um, this actually is a standard temperature probe. Typically, the um, the actual sensing element is in the bottom inch of the, uh, the, the sheath itself. Uh, the sheaths are available in lengths as short as six inches and typically up to 12 inches or 20 inches. Um, in addition to the different lengths, we have a variety of different connectors that can be used. Anything from the uh, bare wire, which is uh, suitable for just a variety of different applications, to some very, very specific applications such as uh, being able to interface directly with um, the 1523, 1524 series of digital thermometers. Uh, what, makes a info, what makes that connector unique, it's an Infocon type device that actually has a chip at the end of the uh, connector itself. And this actually is where we store the coefficients for that specific, that specific probe. The advantages to that is in the event that you actually utilize several different uh, digital thermometers, uh, the, the coefficients are stored in the chip with that specific sensor and you don't have to worry about uh, interchanging the particular probe with a, a digital readout and, and uh, sacrificing your uncertainty levels. Um, in addition to uh, RTDs, uh, and so the RTDs that we do offer are all four-wire type platinum devices. Um, we also offer a series of thermistors uh, thermistors are excellent um, alternative, uh, very cost effective in the event you need to monitor temperatures in the area of 0 to 100 degrees C. They give you very good linearity, um, excellent um, uh, uncertainty levels. The RTDs that we use are, uh, offer are, are all four wire platinum RTDs to give the maximum uncertainty levels. Um, in some cases, uh, that's not required uh, where you have, uh, you can, uh, you have requirements where you have much larger temperature ranges. A uh, thermocouple would be appropriate for that. A thermocouple can address uh, much higher temperatures than an RTD can. Uh, typically, on the, as far as supplying the instrumentation, uh, we offer RTDs and, and the uh, thermistors. We don't offer a complete line of thermocouples. However, any of our digital thermometers are designed and set up to utilize any of the, the standard uh, type of thermocouples that are out in the field. Um, with the thermistors, that's another alternative to some industries when they're looking for a cost-effective measurement where they do not have to go below zero degrees C or go above 100 degrees C. Uh, the thermistor offers uh, excellent uh, linearity and uh, repeatability, is very cost effective. And again, uh, the thermistors uh, that we offer as well as any other generic thermistors that you can get off the, the purchase, uh, off, off the shelf type uh, devices can be utilized uh, with any of our digital thermometers as well. For more information, please contact your T-Equipment product specialist.